What is up you guys? It's Arius back with another storm and today we are going to be embarking on another episode, the fourth episode of Design With Me. So guys, in today's video, I will be giving my whole channel a makeover. For those of you who don't, um, oh, I still ain't telling tech. For those who are still kind of loading on what I'm talking about, I am getting a logo update. So, on YouTube, my logo is like this, and on my work, my logo is like this. And I have been meaning to change that if, if you're getting my drift. I feel like the goal is too much, and I feel like this is too plain. So, I have decided that I will be doing a logo recreation. Re like redoing it basically going to be designing the whole thing all over again and i figured instead of just doing it on my own i am going to be recording this and you guys get to see the little tricks i used okay so sit back relax grab a snack grab a drink So guys, for this we'll be using Adobe Illustrator. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, guys, let us embark on yet another journey and another faithful situation in Adobe Illustrator. <laughs> Ooh, hold on a sec. Uh, am I gonna use a print or an okay? So I'm gonna open a new document. I'm going to be using a A3. And I'll be putting it on portrait, adding some bleed, and then let's create that. Alright, so the difference between a print and my usual stuff is that a print comes with a already made white background. So we're gonna turn this to black and we're gonna put a rectangle. Just put it in here. And then we are going to adjust it a bit so it can fit into the bleed lines so that it can you know just work and yeah oh gosh I feel like I'm I'm, I'm, I'm doing a deadlift Okay, so I think a radial gradient will do a lot better than the black, so now I'm going to start with a circle. So for those who don't know, Arios means snowflake in Latin, hence why um, if you see the beginning of my videos, my videos are a lot of snowflakely, snow, snowflake based, <laughs> if you get my drift. So I'm gonna be making a snowflake from scratch. Uh, I tried this in my other um, software, which is GIMP, but it turned out so terrible and like, oh my god, I didn't even know what I was thinking. So we're gonna use a combination of stuff of line segmentations and um, yeah, we're gonna use a lot of line segmentation, so please be prepared for the amount of lines we're gonna use. So I'm gonna set this to six um, points in stroke. I'm going to maybe make the circle a lot smaller and then, yeah, center it a bit. And now I'm going to work on the arrowhead. So there are two ways you can do this. You can put a arrow on the stroke um okay on the line you can put something a square or any of these many things so depending on what you want to do i want to put a diamond so none of the stroke things will really work for me so i kind of have to create it from scratch so i'll set this polygon shape to two and then i'm gonna make a oh, really square okay let's see what we're gonna work i'm gonna put this here and i'm gonna make it smaller Okay, um, uh, oh, uh, okay, that's better. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, um, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, yes, success. So Ugh. Okay, guys, you know what? Just give me like a few minutes, I figure this out. Huh. 
Okay, so I finally just decided to use a square and use the arrow head as a guide and then just duplicate it on the other side. So I think that should be it. So now we're gonna create the other, like, how do I say it? The hands? The extensions? The anyway, you, you guys get the idea of what I'm making. I'm gonna increase that to six points just like the other stroke and then we're going to put this a lot I'll make this a lot longer so it can be in line with like where the diamond is Ooh, I really think I need to put this in expand fill but let me just copy it I'll do that later and then we're gonna rotate this and put it in line with the stroke I say this is a very painful process. I personally hate this part because you gotta rotate it the right way or it will look wonky. So, oh, oh my gosh. Make it smaller. Oh god, too small, too small, too small. I need to smaller this. I didn't make this smaller. It's too big. I think I'll put it to like, yeah, three. Three should do it. And then I should like put that a bit higher so it can be in line with both the rectangle, the diamond, and the other place. And um, maybe I can turn it. I can move it to the center a little bit more. Yeah. Maybe rotate it a little bit. Ooh, perfect. Okay, so. Um, So now we're going to move this about a lower, a bit lower, and we're going to add one. So basically, just duplicate it and like reference time. <laughs> single strand on its own and then make it shorter or I think I need to rotate it a bit more and move that I think I should move this a bit lower okay guys I'm kind of realizing that my, my my stroke is a bit long but um, let's just work with what we have So I'm gonna move that down so I can look a bit more uniform. I think I'm also gonna move that to the side so it can be more aligned. That's like the hardest part of this. This part is hard, but, but I assure you that you will, um, you won't regret it once you do it. Um, if you want a full-on tutorial on how to do this, let me know. But this is just basically a, a of what I did. <laughs> there are a lot of shortcuts and a lot of stuff, so like, why is it still wonky? Right, so I think we're going to make this shorter. Remove that first. 
then um hmm. okay so we are going to pull this and that down a bit and group these first I'm gonna move this down and then I really think my stroke is a bit too tall. Yeah, it's too tall. Maybe I should like reduce it. Yeah, I should definitely reduce the length. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me reduce the length, guys. Just give me like <laughs> a few minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh god. Uh, let's move this down. And then, okay, wait. This is a really long thing. Ah, come on, duplicate, duplicate. Shout out to my cousin. I'll just make this thing shorter because there's just a way that you yeah, can put that there. Right at the stump. Like that. And then yeah, we're gonna make it shorter because it, it's not working anymore. <laughs> and things are not working. Things are not working. I think I need to remove the arrow head. That 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 I need to remove that. It's it's interfering with my situation. So I think I'll just move that and then I'll just move that down. So I can make it in there. I think I'll reduce the stroke to three, or four, four is fine. Then move everything down so it can be aligned. Make it shorter. Move that there. like that and then the final piece of the puzzle boom and i think i'll make this shorter too and i think that's it guys so now we're gonna click everything i'm gonna group it and then we're going to reflect it i'm going to yeah and that is the basic thing now I'm gonna duplicate that and then now just to make it all the way around. Ba ba boom! Oh my god, I like this. This thing going on in the center. And I think that should be it. And that is your basic snowflake, guys. It is as simple as that. What do you think? <laughs> oh my god. So now I'm going to work on the car the the like the words so I'm gonna work on my wording now that I can group that up I'm gonna work on my wording put it in the center or like that work on the words so now I'm gonna put my text here basically Arius and I think I'll put custom limited like my original one with the one on my banner and yeah this font and choose a font. Did it. That is good enough for me. Now to work on um, lining them together and then adding the little text um, in custom designs. I'll add that. So I think I'll add that down here. Oh, uh, what's going on? I think the font is too big. Wait. 
Uh-huh. Everything is highlighted though. Mm, okay. Let's just make another one. Yeah, that's better. And then we say custom. Wait, all caps. Custom. white and visible as disable wait what <laughs> so now we're going to pick a color I don't know about you guys but I really struggle picking a color for this until eventually I think I just adopted the design with me colors and it's kind of satisfied with that. I think I'll just use a black paint background. No matter how hard I worked to make that gradient, it wasn't working, guys. But now, it's time for the worst part of being a designer. Realizing that stuff ain't working. You group it all together, you have a good look at it, and you're just like... try and export this as a jpeg and i think that should do it but i'm no longer feeling this font so i'm going to change that so bear with me guys it is a permanent logo so i need to get it right the first time oh the second time second time's a charm was it third time's a charm i don't know So after combining fonts and trying other fonts, I think I am satisfied with this and it is readable and I kind of like it but then it means I gotta change everything so I'm gonna increase this font a bit and then I'm going to change, put it up a bit higher, oh yeah that's still touching, that's too much touching, I think that's fine and then I am going to shift the custom designs and change that that and move it to the right a bit, a bit lower. It's too high, a bit lower. I don't want to reduce the font size because then it'll be too small and nobody can read it. Maybe a bit lower. I think that should do it. Oh, there's no bold, so. Yeah. And that's my logo, guys. That's the logo. I'm gonna export this. And voila! say one thing i am really going to miss this intro in particular it really served me very well and let's just say i'm happy with the results though That is all for guys today. Thank you so much for taking and thank you so much for accompanying me in this journey while I redid my whole channel face all together. I hope that we hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I know I had fun redoing this whole thing. So thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for a shout out. Don't forget to like this channel for some love. Don't forget to comment down below, guys. Keep forgetting. Don't forget also to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video that I post. Come on. Don't you want to be like the first view? Take care, guys. Have fun. <laughs>